Hey, Tiffany, these flowers came earlier, but I didn't know where you was, so I put them in my gym locker. Mookie, you're supposed to put flowers in water. Oh, I knew I was supposed to put something in water. Here. I don't care if they're dead or not. Who's sending you flowers? Um, oh, they're from Glenn Roberts. Oh. He was a patient at the hospital. I used to read to him while I was candy striping. I'm sorry, Tiff. I'm getting all uptight over some poor old geezer who had eye surgery. No. Actually, Glenn's a senior at Heckley Prep. He's a really nice guy. But he's blind, right? Sorry, just had his tonsils out. <laughs> so, Matt, did you find a date for the prom yet? Nah, why bother getting dates when we're going to be on stage the whole time? Couldn't get a date, huh, Matt? No. Why couldn't you just admit that? It's not fair that there's so much pressure to bring dates to the prom. Couldn't get a date either, huh, Sam? Shut up, man. Ah, oh, boom, I got great news. The dreams of playing the post-prom party at Sharky's. Yeah! Oh, yeah! Ah, oh, boom! More great news? Yeah. The school can't afford to hire the dreams for the prom anymore, so they're hiring a DJ instead. What? Aww. We lost the prom and you think that's great news. It is for me. I'm the DJ. <laughs> ah, boom! It's hopeless. I'm doomed to be a dateless prom reject. Well, what about Haji? He just moved here from India. Maybe he's free. Hot patootie tip, you're a lifesaver. <laughs> Hi, Haji. I'm Samantha. Do you remember me from school? Uh, yes. <laughs> Good. Um, Listen, I was wondering if you don't have a date for the prom yet, would you like to go with me? Uh, yes. <laughs> Great. What time do you want to pick me up? Uh, yes. <laughs> oh, so basically you have no idea what I just said and I still don't have a date for the prom, right? Uh, yes. <laughs> Gosh, that's Glenn, the guy from the hospital. Yeah? Well, if he's got more flowers for you, I'm sending him back to the hospital. <laughs> Hi, Tiffany. Hi, Glenn. What are you doing here? Well, after I sent you the flowers, I realized that it'd be nicer to thank you in person. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> yeah, that was really sweet, Glenn. Bye. <laughs> you must be Jay. Relax. Tiffany told me all about you in the hospital. You've got nothing to worry about. This girl loves you a lot. Oh, yeah? Well, sit down, Glenn. You want some ice cream or something? Hey! Hey, guys. Hey, this is Tiff's friend, Glenn. He was just telling us how much Tiff loves me. Hey, guys. Hey, how you doing? How's it going? Nice man? to meet you. All right. I don't know you. Don't touch me. Don't mind, Sly. He may seem like a jerk, but he really is one. <laughs> Jake, you won't believe it. There is a Ferrari in the parking lot. It is so hot! I wish I knew who owned it so I could kiss up and beg for a ride. I'm glad you like it. It's mine. <laughs> Glenn, buddy, don't mind me. I'm just a jerk. Please take me for a ride, please, please. Here, take it for a spin. This is amazing. I'm holding the keys to a Ferrari. May my babe cup runneth over. <laughs> oh, please, Sylvester. If girls only date you because of your car, they're shallow bimbos. Yeah, so? Prom dates! I'm so glad we don't have to scramble to get prom dates. Yeah, it's because we're not going. Excuse me? Well, come on, Tiff. Proms are stupid. They just make people get all hung up on what they look like and who they're with. Well, it doesn't have to be that way. The prom can be a beautiful night you spend with people you love. I can solve your problem. There's no problem. Better believe there is, bucko. What do you have in mind, Glenn? Well, I'll take Tiffany to the prom. <laughs> no way. I'm not letting another guy take my girlfriend on a date. But, but this is perfect. I've been trying to find a good way to thank Tiffany. I'll do it for me, as a favor. I don't know, Glenn. I'll make you guys a deal. My dad owns a resort on Catalina. Let me take Tiffany to the prom, and I'll get your band a gig for the entire summer. Go to Catalina, we're going to Catalina. Guys, we said we had to think about it. Yeah, you're right. Guys, let's think about it. We're going to Catalina! We're going to Catalina! It's not that simple. We shouldn't have to get a gig by selling Tiffany like some piece of meat. Yeah, I see what you mean. Hey, maybe it takes Sam. You think? <laughs> Would you guys stop? Jake and I only told you because you're our friends and we hoped you could help us. 
Okay, forget about Glenn. Compromise. Spend half the night at the prom and the other half go to the movies or something. I don't want to go to the movies. And I don't want to go to the prom. Oh, what if it was a movie about the prom? <laughs> Look, let Glenn take me, I'll be happy. You won't have to go, you'll be happy. And the dreams will have a gig for the entire summer. We'll all be happy. Tiff, I love you and I want you to be happy, but I don't want some guy I don't know hitting on you. Maybe he won't be hitting on me. He says he just wants to thank me. But either way, isn't our love strong enough to survive one night? Okay. We're gonna go! go through with this? Absolutely. I'm not going to the prom alone. And just so I won't back out of it, I'll tell everyone here. Listen up! I'm going to the prom with the next guy who walks in that door. <laughs> I meant the next guy! Oh. Mookie, you're taking me to the prom. Oh. Did I know that? <laughs> Uh, Tiffany Smith? Um, yeah, that's me. My um, employer, Glenn Roberts, asked that I uh, deliver this to you. Gosh, it's the most beautiful gown I've ever seen. <sighs> Anybody can go out and buy a dress. No effort there. Oh, it's okay, Jake. Glenn may have more money than you, but he'll never have my heart. <laughs> Well, I said I'd do it, and I did it. I have a date for the prom. All right, Matthew, way to go, man. <laughs> How much is she charging you? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing, as long as I find a date for a friend. <laughs> well, don't look at me. I hate blind dates. No way, no how, not ever. <laughs> she better not be a dog, Matt. <laughs> I have no idea, but we'll find out when we pick her up. Yeah, I guess so. So where's she live? The pound. Later, Jake. <laughs> oh, man, wait. Hey, Jake, what do you think? You look more beautiful than any woman I have ever seen in my life. I was thinking the same thing when I looked in the mirror and I was like, oh. <laughs> I feel like a princess. It's amazing. I, I knew you were beautiful, but this is incredible. Mm. <laughs> Sam! You look real good. Jump in. Why are you dressed like that? Hey, everybody knows you're supposed to go to prom in a monkey suit. <laughs> That's just an expression, Mookie. Oh. Uh, let's just go. On the way, we'll get you something less hairy. Are you sure you won't come, Jake? Nah, this is the best thing. I just keep telling myself I'll have you all summer on Catalina. <laughs> Me too. Good evening. Tiffany, you look incredible. Doesn't she, Jake? Yeah, yeah, I already told her that. Oh. Well, here's your corsage. It's beautiful. Thank you. Shall we? Yes. Good night, Jake. All right. Potty time at PCH. Well, I was nervous. Blind dates kind of freaked me out. <laughs> I love blind dates. Isn't that right, man? <laughs> I believe your exact words were, she better not be a dog. <laughs> Shut up, Matt. <laughs> so, Mona, before we tap the dance floor, why don't I get us some punch? Oh, what? Just because I'm a woman, you don't think I can get it myself? <laughs> Look, Moogie, don't embarrass me. If anyone tries to talk to us, don't say anything. Just nod and smile. Oh, OK. Hi, guys. Hey, Mookie. Nice tux. Where'd you get it? <laughs> Ooh! What are they all looking at? You! Cinderella has just arrived at the ball. Enjoy it. This is your night. Would you like to dance? Okay. You're a 
wonderful dancer, Glenn. Without you in my arms, I'd be invisible. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> so, is it what you expected? Not at all. So, is it what you expected? <laughs> Ow! No, not at all. <laughs> Ow! Would you like me to leave? Aren't you? That song was dedicated to Glenn Roberts, a very close friend of mine who owns a very hot Ferrari, which I've driven. So any of you babes want to know what it's like, come on up and I'll tell you about it. <laughs> I could use some air, how about you? Good idea. Hey Garrison, what's going on? Uh, we're at the prom? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Look, you guys were so happy before. Uh, I mean, stupid happy. So I figured maybe I was missing the point. I even got dressed. <laughs> nice touch. Yeah, I don't mind going formal every now and then. <laughs> I, I don't know where Tiffany is. Who? Oh, Tiff, yeah. Maybe I'll go look around for her or something. I'll see you by the punch bowl. I'm glad you let me bring you to your prom. Thank you. No, thank you. It's wonderful. Oh, and I think we're even now. Yeah, well, maybe I'll have my gallbladder out so I can thank you again. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I'd really do it if it meant I could spend more time with you. But why? I'm in love with you, Tiffany. I'm sorry, I can't. But you already did. That was amazing. But I shouldn't have. I have a boyfriend. Well, maybe you should do something about that. I don't want to. I love Jake. Well, he obviously doesn't love you as much as you love him. Excuse me? If you were my girlfriend, I'd never let another guy take you out. Oh, you creep. You didn't want to thank me. You wanted to break us up. OK, I, I admit it. And I realized that it wasn't the most honest way to do it. But I had to. I love you, Tiffany. You don't know anything about love. You can't just buy it with Ferraris and gowns and dead roses. What dead roses? <laughs> you blew it, Glenn. And so did I. I'm sorry, Tiffany, wait. Don't follow me. Just go home, it's over. Oh, no, no, look! For the last time I didn't call you baby, it's a sexually demeaning thing. It's just something I say. Now, can we please dance? Look, I told you I am not a good dancer. That's okay, I'll teach you, baby. There, you said it again! No! <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm doing the best I can. I didn't know you had blisters. Yeah, well, I did it before tonight. <sighs> Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Switch! Switch. Let me dance, baby. Lead on. Oh. Would you care not to dance with me? I would love not to dance. <laughs> hey, Sam, how's it going? You having a good time? Well, I wasn't at first, but I finally figured it out. Watch. So, do you guys really think I'm the most beautiful girl on Earth? Yes. <laughs> I'm having a blast. <laughs> hey, Tiff, where's Glenn? He's gone. What happened, Tiff? Did you try and make a move on you? Kind of. What a jerk! What a rat! He didn't take away the gig, did he? No. <laughs> what a great guy. <sighs> oh, Tiff, I'm sorry. Hey, did you see Jake? Jake is here? Yeah, he went out looking for you. Oh, no. Changed your mind about coming, huh? Jake, I have to tell you something. I saw you kissing him. I'm sorry. I didn't plan to, it just happened. I believe you. Are you mad? Yeah. Mostly at myself. Why? I'm the one who messed up. You were right about Glenn the whole time. 
See those two sandpipers over there? Birds? Yeah. I've been watching them for a while. And at first I thought the big one was stupid because he keeps digging up food and letting the small one eat it. And then I realized that maybe he was just helping her out because he loves her. I should have taken you to the prom, Tiffany. No. The little sandpiper's wrong. She shouldn't let the big one get all of her food. It's not fair. We should have listened to Sam. We should have gone to the prom for half the night. And the movies for the other half. So what do we do now? I don't know. We could just pretend the whole thing never happened. Could you do that? I love you, Jake. I love you, too. But I just can't shake the image of you kissing him, I... Yeah, me too. I don't want to lose you. Can't help it. It's the way I am. So I guess we're breaking up then, huh? There you are, come on! The post-prom party can't start without you. Come on, let's go! You guys okay? They're fine. Just say let's do it and do it. Okay. Let's do it. One, two, three, four. my